<laughs> My bad. Coronavirus is very serious. Many people have lost their family members. This is very important because this can help the spread of COVID and help people that are suffering. This is where most people are at because of them not wearing their masks. Why do people think it's okay to not wear a mask? Maybe because they think since they got the since they got vaccinated, they don't have to wear their mask. Why masks help you prevent not getting coronavirus? When people talk, they spit on you, and if it's there, if there could be containing a disease, you now got the disease unless you wipe it off quickly or sanitize. People have cried many days because of loss, so this is why wearing your mask is important because I don't want to be like other people, so I prevent that. The symptoms are very horrible, especially if you have a disorder or disease. I think they should make a children vaccine because children are getting seriously sick, and it will also help stop the spread. I found most of my information at www.whoemergency/disease/novacoronavirus2019. I hope y'all love my presentation. Have a wonderful day. Woo! All right. The movie is important to me because my dad introduced it, introduced the anime to me, and it's proven to be good so far. And well, basically, kind of like I really do treasure anything that my dad shows me. Yeah. Um, another reason why it's important to me is basically kind of like you don't have to be born with something to be be good because Deku did not have this thing called a quirk, which is basically powers. He was not born with it, but he got he like he was basically passed, not passed. Yeah, it was passed on to him. So it's kind of like now that's what it seems to me. Like that's what I see it as. Like. You don't have to be born with something that everyone else has to be amazing, you know? And like, I just do feel like that a lot of people don't know that lesson. And it also is important to me because it, it's not one of those animes that focus only on the main characters. Like there's entire episodes dedicated to side characters, plot development, even the villains have their own little backstory to them. And that's why I personally like. I wrote an article about the recent events in Afghanistan, which considering how much it's been on the news lately, you've probably heard of them, like the recent events in Afghanistan, and how many people are currently in danger from like the Taliban leaders. Or, or like one of the many examples of the horrible things that are going on in that area right now uh, was reported by ABC News and said that an attack on a at a gas station killed two fighters in a gas station tin. A woman said that a child was also killed in the attack. In one of the many other attacks in Afghanistan, a child was also killed again. It was a, bomb, a bombing of a car also caused the deaths of many other people, including innocent civilians. This topic is important because it's saddening that there are people that bomb places and car places and kill innocent people and even children. The fact that someone would do something like that makes this important because I think ch people should be aware about the horrible things like that that happen. So if they could maybe try to like get somebody that does have an influence to do to try and do something. Like in light of Hispanic Heritage Month, so we have Beatrice representing. All right. All right. Go ahead. <laughs> Hispanic Heritage Month takes place over 30 days starting on September the 15th. It is an anniversary of National Independence for a number of Latin American countries. Costa Rica, El Salvador, Guatemala, Honduras, and Nicaragua all recognize September 15th as a day of their independence. While Mexico's independence is celebrated September 16th and Chile celebrates its independence September 18th. This is significant to me because this story is about when the country gained independence. National Hispanic Heritage Month is about recognizing that history. Latinos have a long history in the U.S. Hispanic Heritage Month is about inclusion, dignity, and being violated, community development. And I will be talking about the biggest problem in Africa. The biggest problem in Africa, the biggest problem in Africa contain things such as food shortage, food shortage, terrorism, and violence. 
conflicts in sewage and water. Africans have also been having problems with COVID-19 as well. Violence and conflicts are the reason why most countries in Africa are now struggling with drought and famine. And famine means they don't have as much food as they need. They don't have enough support from their government to help their struggling families. Storms kept coming in. In 2020, and then two months, the end of the rain for like two, two months and also storm. Also, Africa has been dealing with some problems of colonization as well. This topic means a lot to me because I want, I want Africa, I want people in Africa to live as normal citizens because their population has been going down. I want them like to eat, sleep, and I worry about what's happening next. We also want them to starve because that's when the population is also going to go down. It states that, again, on the same website, it states that malnutrition refers to an unhealthy condition that develops when your body does not get enough vitamins and minerals and other nutrients it needs to function properly. It can occur when you don't eat food or if you or if you aren't eating any healthy food. It shows that this is not a good thing because you need to eat food and survive. Now that the population of Africa is decreased, I went into increase. People in Africa deserve the help that they need. They need because they don't have to from the government. So this is why this topic is very important to me. That's it.